Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will look into uh, lattice energy as well as we will look into the factors uh, that influence the formation of ionic bonds. So lattice energy, we just introduced ourselves in the, in, the, in the previous video and we know from uh, that particular video that uh, lattice energy is an important contributing factor towards the formation of ionic compounds. Now, how do we define ionic, uh, lattice energy? It is nothing but the energy released for the formation of one mole of the ionic compound from its constituent ions in its gaseous state. Okay, so that is a very simple and straightforward definition for the lattice energy. Now, the question is how you are going to measure this uh, lattice energy. Now, Lattice energy is usually represented by a symbol U, okay? Uh, it can be, it cannot be directly measured experimentally, okay? Uh, it's usually measured indirectly from a experimental uh, fact, okay? Before going into there, let me talk about the theoretical value of the uh, lattice energy. So you can theoretically calculate the lattice energy using this particular equation called the bond landing equation. Now this equation uh, is nothing but U equals minus N naught A Z plus Z minus E squared upon R naught multiplied by one minus one upon N. Now N naught is nothing but the Avogadro constant because we are talking about formation of one mole of a uh, ionic compound. So that's why we brought in this concept of uh, N naught and then this A is nothing but Madelung's constant, which actually is a, is a is coming into this equation, uh, which talks about the um, uh, three-dimensional arrangement of ions in a crystal structure. Okay, and then uh, Z and Z plus, uh, Z plus are basically the charges on the positive and the negative ion. R not represent the inter uh, new interatomic uh, the uh, distance between the uh, opposite ions and n represent the uh, is called the bond exponent this again is a is coming from the uh, nature of ions that are leading to the formation of an ionic compound okay so basically this equation uh, can be used to theoretically calculate uh, the uh, lattice energy now do not be worried about this equation because you're not going to get any numerical out of this equation. This equation I brought into here just to talk about on which are all the factors on which this lattice energy depends on, okay? So if we look at this equation, the lattice energy depends upon the charge of the ion, okay? So higher the charge, higher would be the lattice energy. Then it is inversely related to the internuclear distance. So internuclear distance between the uh, positive and the negative ion, if it is smaller, it leads to a higher lattice energy value. Then thirdly, it also depends upon uh, the uh, crystal structure because I don't know whether you have gone into the crystal structure. Probably you will be learning about uh, uh, in one of the physical chemistry paper about the crystal structure. So there, each of the crystal structure, you have NaCl structure, you have uh, CSCl structure, which is a body-centered cubic uh, crystal structure. Then you have other types of uh, uh, crystal structure and each crystal structure has different Madeleine constant value. So depending upon which crystal structure a particular ionic compound adopt, you will have uh, its dependence on the lattice energy. So higher the value of um, Madeleine constant, higher would be the lattice energy. But majorly, uh, usually uh, this Madeleine constant is not having that much of variation. Usually the variation in the lattice energy or the major contributors of the lattice energy are the charge on the ions as well as the internuclear distance. Okay, so this are the various factors on which the lattice energy depends upon. So higher the charge, okay, would be would mean that it will have a higher lattice energy and uh, 
as shorter the distance between the ions, uh, higher would be the corresponding lattice energy. Now, what is the importance of lattice energy? Because high lattice energy means your compound is highly stable. So it gives an indication about the stability of our ionic compound. Now, another utility of uh, lattice energy is it gives us an indication about the solubility of the ionic solid. So that means if suppose uh, your lattice energy is very high, then those ionic solids would be less soluble in the um, solvents like water or any other solvents which have high dielectric constant. Okay, such solvents, in such solvents, uh, the solubility depends upon the, uh, the lattice energy. Now, for just uh, example sake, let me tell you, uh, suppose we talk about the solubility of uh, alkaline earth metal and uh, alkali metal, you will find that alkali metals are more soluble than the alkaline earth metals. That is because the alkaline earth metals have a higher lattice energy than the alkali metal. Another reason why they have a higher lattice energy is because in alkaline earth metal, the positive charge is higher. It's two, okay, in comparison to alkali metal, which is just one. So a higher charge, therefore higher lattice energy and higher lattice energy means lesser solubility of that particular compound and that is why alkali metals are more soluble than the alkaline earth uh, ionic compounds okay so that is about the utility of the uh, lattice energy uh, and uh, here i told you that theoretically it is calculated using this particular equation called bond landy equation now, experimentally, uh, also, uh, usually we find lattice energy via Born-Haber cycle. And that cycle is what I showed you in the previous video, uh, like how uh, an alternate route can be used to uh, form a uh, ionic compound and uh, application of Hess's law. And I showed you uh, how uh, those delta H is related to other uh, steps in the formation of ionic compounds. And from that equation, you can calculate the delta U value to find the uh, lattice energy. Okay, so that is how uh, using bond haber cycle, we can determine experimentally the lattice energy. Though you do not have uh, much of bond haber cycle in your syllabus, but just remember the bond haber cycle that I discussed in the previous video. Go through that video again and understand those equation and the relationship. And if you have any doubts, please come up, uh, please ask me uh, in the live session. Now let us quickly go into the factors that influence the ionic bonds. So what are all the factors that influence an ionic bond? One of the factors is ionization energy. So lower the ionization energy more quickly the ionic compounds would be formed. So that is why the periodic tables that are on the left uh, elements that are on the left side of the periodic table they have a very low ionization energy and that is why those elements are able to feasibly form a ionic compound. Then another contributing factor is the electron affinity. Now electron affinity basically means when uh, an atom accepts an electron, the energy released in the process is termed as the electron affinity. So electron affinity would be higher for those elements which are on the right side of the periodic table. And that's why halogen, they have a more good tendency uh, to form ionic compounds. Okay, so uh, ionization energy, um, lower the ionization energy, highly feasible the formation of ionic compounds. Higher the electron affinity, highly feasible is the formation of ionic compounds. So lower value of ionization energy, higher value of electron affinity. Now, another third contributing factor is uh, lattice energy. A high lattice energy will always favor the formation of 
ionic compounds. And that is what we saw through the discussion of the lattice energy that ionic compound, in ionic compounds, the major contributing factor is the lattice energy. Higher the lattice energy, higher the stability, for, higher the feasibility of formation of ionic compounds and also the stability of the ionic compounds can be decided on the basis of lattice energy and also the solubility of the ionic compounds in solvents with high dielectric constant can be uh, decided on the basis of uh, lattice energy. So I hope uh, with, the, with this particular short description, we have understood briefly what do you mean by ionic compound, what are all the factors that influence the ionic compound and about the lattice energy and about the born haber cycle. So any doubts, you can come up to me and uh, ask your doubts and I'll be happy to answer you, answer all your queries. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, so let us, uh, me, uh, in the next video, I'll be talking about the, uh, I'll start with the covalent bonding. Thank you very much for your attention.